me the axis of this ECG? I don't know. Well, do you know the shortcut? When you learn it, you're gonna sound really good when presenting ECGs. I'll teach you how to never forget it if you come back and tell me the axis of this ECG right here. Just remember, left away, right together. If you wanna spend less time studying, you may be interested in my new book, Never Forget Cardiology, and you can follow along on page 11. The official launch has now begun. Check out the link in my bio. And as an added bonus, every copy comes with a 290 question and answer pack. The axis of an ECG is the overall direction of current. It goes between minus 30 degrees and plus 90. But if it's here, it's left axis. Here, it's right axis. On the other side, it's extreme axis deviation. All you need to do is to figure out roughly which quadrant it's in, and then you'll know the axis. Let's unlock this faster way of thinking. You first need to understand this. As electrons are negative, they're going to move towards the positive side. The QRS complex has a positive deflection. It means the overall axis is somewhere in the hemisphere on the positive side of that lead. For example, in lead one, if the QRS is positive, the overall axis must be somewhere in this range. The AVF lead is 90 degrees to lead one. So by combining the findings in these two leads, we can tell roughly which quadrant it's in. If that makes sense, there's a super simple shortcut. In left axis deviations, the QRS complexes leave each other, and in right axis deviation, they're right together. In normal axis, they're usually both up, and in extreme axis, they're both down. Oh, and there's a patient over here with an arrhythmia. You're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.